What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Dark Game Channel. My name is AJ Gales. How y'all doing? We are back with Red Dead Redemption. I, uh, I I thought you know what I'm not I'm not gonna leave leave you hanging after that that short video. We'll uh, we'll at least start a little bit of the Blackwater stuff here in this one. Uh, in between videos, I also I picked up the Lamont Lamont whatever revolver. Nine shots. Nice. Uh, nice. Uh, nice pistol. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Lamont, not Lamont. Hmm. Whatever. Either way, I got a new gun. But uh, I thought I'd, I'd give you at least a, another 30 minutes or so uh, of like gameplay. What are you doing here? Thought you were running a film company. Oh, Marston, how the fates have spurned me. The muses cajoled and lament my foolish nature. The hubris. The hubris. It gets the best of us. I've lost everything. Every last dime I invested in that studio is gone. The production was delayed by weather. That fool Spatchcock fell in love with the cameraman and ran off to Canada. Damn you, the gods of bad weather! And the hearts of vain men. Guess I'll have to go and make dreams elsewhere. Good luck. It'll take more than luck to stop me. It's a good attitude, I guess. Um, um, yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's what I'm doing. I'm, I, 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 you, you're depressing me, dude. Uh, but yeah, my, uh, my plan, we're gonna go see what they want from us in Blackwater. Do a little bit of, ooh, we have a, a new outfit. I don't think I've seen that outfit. And we have that poncho, duster coat, undiscovered, Legend of the West, which I still want to get by the end of the game. U.S. Army outfit, search uh, Basin, win arm wrestling Pacific Union, uh, eliminate all their players in the poker in Blackwater, and Nightwatch Blackwater, purchase Taylor. Okay. It's my horse. Yeah, I keep losing my train of thought. I'm 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 super tired. I didn't I wasn't able to get any sleep last night, and uh, I'm kind of getting to that point where my body's about to shut down. But I got about. I got some. I I got I got a little left in me to play some Red Dead. See Mr. Ross? 107, 109. Edgar Ross. 113. Upstairs on the right. He, 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 knows, he knows he's skipping numbers, right? 115, 116, 117. I also have no clue what that dude's doing. Mr. Marston, so glad to see you. How was your journey? Where's my wife? Shitty. Son? Being well looked after. Well looked after. I want to see him. Mr. Ross wants to speak with you. We've had some important developments. You want me to take out a gun and blow a fucking hole in your head right here? <clears throat> right now? You want that? Mr. Marston. You want that? Mr. Marston, I ask you to calm down. Why? Why? I did what you asked. I got you Williamson and Escuela. It's over. Stop playing games with me. No one's playing games with you, Mr. Marston. But if we were to play some games, there'd be some interesting ones we could play. Thanks, sir. Like hanging you for murder, or confiscating all your property, like that little farm of yours, or, or having you put in an electric chair. Those are the sort of games we could play. But we choose to play a different game. So calm down. And play along with us. The electric chair was around in like 1910. Really? But I hear it's very nice this time of year. I don't know why. That just doesn't sound right. Mr. Marston, please. I've never insulted your meager intelligence. Do not insult mine. We've done this little deal. Jackass. For your freedom in exchange for all your men from your old gang. You gave us Williamson and Escuela. We still don't have Vanderlyn. But now we know where he is. Then go and shoot him. No, sir. I want you to shoot him for me. And then I'll let you be. 
the last thing I want to do is make martyrs out of all these people. He could be killed by some petty squab or by another lowlife. <laughs> we believe Vanderlind is holed up with a group of renegades near the wreck of the Serendipity Riverboat. Ah, <sighs> yes. Another group of renegades. Obviously, the first group. Your group has, well, shall we say, been disbanded? <laughs> <laughs> disbanded. Anyway, Mr. Ford and Mr. Marston, shall we go? Oh, Mr. Marston, your wife and son are, are doing well. You have a crap mustache. I to ensure things stay that way. Eh? After you, sir. I mean, we've seen some top-notch mustaches in this game. That guy's sucks. Oh, Mr. Marston, one more thing. This is for you. Oh, I gun. just bought a new gun. I have nothing but your best interest at heart. Let's hope it doesn't go off by mistake. From what I remember, that gun's actually really good. I, I have a patent for that, sir. This is an outrage. Oh, Mr. Marston. <laughs> You're alive. Hello, Wes Dickens. <laughs> Thought you were headed to Peking. Um, so did I. So did I. A long story. But now it seems I'm being put under arrest and charged with narcotic possession or some other such nonsense. Ross. Have him release this man. Why? Because he's a harmless old fraud, the kind of man that built this country. <laughs> because he helped me get Williamson. Did you hear that, officer? The man's a hero. Let him go. Come on, Marston. Moral degeneracy waits for no man. Let's hurry along. Like that moral degeneracy waits for no man. That's a... It's a new one. Why is this guy just enticing me? I want to know what he's doing. I need to know this man's story. Oh, man behind the desk. Who are you? What sort of life have you lived? Head for the wreck of the serendipity, Mr. Fordham. Are we, uh, we, we gonna make, there we go, I was about to say, are we gonna make, uh, conversation? Like you always say, sir, the higher the stakes, the smarter you have to play the game. I can't imagine I ever said anything quite Kiss ass. Right. In any case, I'm not sure Mr. Marston would agree with us. Unfortunately, Mr. Marston isn't broad-minded enough to appreciate the unique opportunity we're offering him. Son of a whore. You best watch your damn mouth. And it's strange you should say that, Mr. Marston, because according to my files, you are the whore's son. Now, what else can I recall from the files? Oh, let's see. You killed hundreds of innocent people. You robbed at least 40 banks that we're aware of. They told us there was a prize when you got to 50. I'm uh, glad this is all <laughs> such a joke to you. I want my family. And I'm sure all the men you murdered wanted their families, too. You're stupid, but you're not that stupid. We both know how this has to be, and it could be all over today. As soon as we find Dutch Vanderlyn, you can go back home and play being a farmer again, or whatever else you've been pretending to do for the last few years. First it was Bill, now it's Dutch. After Dutch, it'll be somebody else. Where does it end? It ends when we say it ends. You're in no position to make demands. Like you will. You don't just walk away from that. Buy a few chickens and make it all disappear. You should be dead or rotting in a jail cell by now. We are giving you a chance at new life. A chance at redemption. Ah, he said redemption. But we can. Man, they, they make kind of a good point that we kind of empathize with John and all this stuff. You know, I mean, it's this game's been doing a whole thing with just trying to build him up as a, you know, this... this this guy who lives in a moral gray area, but all in all, I think he's a good man. But then they bring up the fact that he's he's a mass murderer. Cliche, admittedly, but still a dying breed, like the buffalo, just as dumb but not quite as noble. They move most cows by rail these days, I hear. Not where I'm from, they don't. But you aren't from anywhere. A new dawn is breaking, Mr. Marston. This is the age of the machine, and soon we'll all be living on the moon. Maybe this is the future. Anything is possible. Finally, this godforsaken land is entering the 20th century. Prosperity has arrived. 
in the form of assholes like you. It's not far now. The old serendipity wreck has been used as an occasional criminal hideout for years. We were informed that Vanderlyn and his gang are making camp there. We'll stop on the cliff above, and you and Agent Fordham will go on foot. I'll stay with the vehicle and keep watch. And you'll do as I say, Marston. Don't try anything stupid. Oh, you mean like oh, shooting you in the head? What's at stake? Don't you, Mr. Marston? Let's find Dutch and finish this. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. He ran in front of my bullet. Come on then, Marston. You're with me. I just want to I want to see what the how the pistol Oh yeah, the pistol uh pistol wins. I feel a little less cowboy cuz it's not a, you know, like a like a um revolver, but yeah, that uh, this pistol wins. Keep quiet and stay close. Yes, sir. Vanderlyn, go in, take him down, and get the hell out of here. Quick and clean. You leave Dutch to me. We don't want you getting that suit dirty. If you step out of line, even once, well, I hope you're aware of the consequences. Seems real quiet, don't you think? You tell me. Maybe Dutch caught wind of things. That informant better not have been lying to us. Keep your eyes open. They are open. I don't see nothing. It doesn't feel right. This place is usually teeming with lowlifes. Man. Sorry, I'm, I'm yawning. I am... Like I said, I mean, I've, I've been up for, uh... Go investigate. I'll keep watch here. My, uh, my insomnia was getting the better of me last night, so I've kind of... I've, I've been up for... Honestly, I, I don't know how long. Probably around 24 hours. Um... And where, where I'm at that point where just kind of... Everything's kind of just like... The, the fatigue and everything's just kind of like slamming me all at once. Oh god, where are the stairs? Gee, I'm sorry. Okay, and there's stairs down. Where the hell are stairs up? I want the upstairs, not the downstairs. Ah, it's a joke. Because, because, because the upstairs, I mean, is in stairs that lead up. But there's also such a thing as an upstairs. Whatever. The, I... No, I don't think I'm funny. Just, yeah. Please like me. <laughs> Over here, I found him. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore, guys. Nasus, what the hell's going on here? It's a trap. Shit, Marston, you'll have to carry this man. I don't think he can walk. What the hell? Devil! Come on, we need to get him to safety. Over there! Come on! You I've seen time for nurse Don't come in below. Christ alive! Real men don't get cold. You right. wanna die, mister? Let's keep moving! Oh, there was a... We left a guy alive up there. Just real quick. Yeah, it's fine. Where are you? Okay, apparently we didn't leave somebody up here. The map is lying to me. I think it doesn't help. I think it doesn't help that this this uh, this level is basically built on a on an incline. I know this place wasn't built like a maze, but I'm treating it like it was. There we go. 
all is right again with the world. Like I said, though, I mean, we, we probably could have taken this this guy out, you know, like, uh, uh, and just kind of sit there going, oh my gosh, I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry, I, he, he, he ran right in front of me as I was shooting at the, uh, at the enemies, and, uh, ignore the fact that he was shot, you know, five times in the face. It's got nothing to do with my anger problems. No, you take a class. God's name is going on. I've lost my mind, everyone. It's happened. Marston, lift this fellow into the back seat. Put him in the car so we can get out of here. Let's go. There might be more of them. Okay, I was about to say, there's more room in the back seat. How come I'm not getting into the car either? Christ alive! What the hell happened down there? It was a trap. They were waiting for us. And who is this savage? A prisoner? This is the informant, sir. Do you speak English? Uh, uh yes he does, sir. He's the informant, Nostas. Don't get snarky with me, Fordham. We found him tied up on the boat, then they jumped us. Nice of you to help us out. Hell of a plan sending in two men to take on an entire gang of outlaws. Especially when one of them's an office clerk. Or social secretary or some Just such. Just shut your mouth! No. Okay, we, uh, any more dialogue? Or is the whole, uh, whole shut your mouth thing pretty much, uh, the end of it? Excuse me. What's Sorry about wrong? that. I don't know. The motor just gave out. Well, He's getting to me now. To My body's falling work. apart. Of course, sir. It's Dutch's men. Marston, we'll hold them off. Hold them, we'll fix that damn engine. Come on. Hmm. I'll take uh, things you don't have to do for a horse for uh, 200, Alex. Took out almost everyone. Kind of proud of that. Well, he's not even like fixing the car, he's just winding it up. Yes, sir, I think so. Come on, let's get back to Blackwater. Damn, that was close. We're lucky to be alive. I'm beginning to see why Mr. Marston here has made it to such a ripe old age. You make me blush with all these kind words. So much for this automobile of yours. If this is the future, God help us all. It's not the automobile. 
bad workman shouldn't blame his tools. Perhaps if Mr. Fordham maneuvered it with a little more finesse... I was trying to escape an ambush, sir. Even if it was running fine, that'd still have caught us. I can walk faster than this piece of crap. Give me a horse anyway. <laughs> so what now? Do I get to see my family? Where is Dutch Vanderland? I don't know. In that case, old boy, no, you don't get to see your family. It's a fairly simple agreement, Mr. Marston, even for a man as devoid of intellect as yourself. If you'd like me to explain it to you again, I'd be more than willing. No, you've said enough. We'll find Vanderland soon enough. For now, however, I suggest we call it a day. So how does it feel, taking a man's wife and child from him? Does it make you feel good? How does it feel to kill hundreds of men in cold blood? You're a coward. You're a murderer. Actions have consequences, Mr. Marston. Come now. Well, yeah, but usually it's not like an off-the-book sort of uh, secret government thing. Your family is enjoying a much-needed vacation, and in far more luxurious surroundings than those to which they are accustomed. Soon you will be able to start a new life together absolved of all your sins. I can think of far more upsetting alternatives. We should take the ending to Professor McDougal. See what he can get out of him. Good idea, sir. I just can't communicate with them. Here we are. Thank God for that. So, this is the office of an anthropologist named McDougal. He was thrown out of Yale for a degeneracy. We should tell you something. Indeed, but he's been helping us deal with the natives in this area. They see him and they presume we're all idiot academics. Huh? Give me a hand here, Marston. Ah, Mr. Ross, uh, Mr. Fordham? G good day, G good day. What on earth's going on here? Kid got shot in the leg. <sighs> Beat up pretty good. We'll send a doctor. Now, McDougal. Mm -hmm. <sighs> we need information from this fellow about Dutch Vanderland. Can you see what you can find out for us? Do my best, sir. Make sure you do. <laughs> Professor McDougal has been a good friend of the U.S. government, Mr. Marston, just like you. Why don't you see if you can help him in his study of the native problem in this county? That's a good fellow. God, I really want to punch you. All right, let's let's get this going. Like I said, I got I got about I got about one more one more mission in me before I'm gonna just like pass out here at my desk. What a pleasant surprise, Mr. Marston. An informer just told us some interesting news. Our mutual friend, Mr. Vanderlyn, is about to pay call on his bank manager. What do you say to having a little financial discussion with the fellow? This way. Let's get up on the roof. We'll have a clear shot at them from there. But you're gonna use repeaters? I mean... I mean, they're good guns, but from this range, you'd want more of a, like, a high-power rifle. And by that, I mean either, like, the sniper, like, the rolling block, like, the sniper rifle that we're, uh, gonna be using here. So cover it tight. Do you see those horses to the left by the building across the street? Dutch's boys hitch them there. They'll have to run that way to make their escape. Don't start shooting until they're out in the open. If we spook them, they might retreat back and hole up inside. Don't shoot till I give you the signal. Keep your sights trained on that bank door. You know, I mean, with this, uh, e either why aren't you using sniper rifles or why aren't you using, like, the bolt action or the some of the other rifles that are better, like, long-range kind of weapons. They shot them down! They're coming out! Gun them down! Take out those snipers in the window! I don't see I don't see anyone though. Oh 
Get him as he was running away. I had to make sure he was still down. Hey there. Guess what? Oh, I got your friend behind you. Nah, there you go. <laughs> Love that ah, sound effect. How are we shooting at? I'm not even seeing him pop out. There you go. Marston, head into the bank with Hopkins and Manny. Get Dutch. Be careful. There may be some innocent people there. We can take them! Let's move! They'll cover the windows from up top! There we go. I don't know why I had the Winchester repeater as my selected weapon, Shoot but... lock off that door! Damn! Let's go! Watch out, Cross! Oh, I'll get it! You're a beauty, Sidewinder! I ain't gonna tell you again! Grace! No! No! Please! Please don't kill me! I ain't safe! I ain't safe! Everybody out! Run! Now! Come on, let's check out upstairs! Ah! It's nice to see you, John. Hello, Dutch. How's Abigail? Well, I hope. I ain't seen her for a while. Because you've been chasing me? Let the woman go, Dutch. Of course. Of course. How's your little boy? He ain't so little now. No, he must be what? 15? 16? Doesn't time fly? Don't adjust. It's over, man. Of course. Of course. I surrendered, John. You're the master now. I've been my master since you left me to die. We all make mistakes, John. I never claimed to be a saint, but equally, I never took you for an errand boy. Just trying to help my family, Dutch. By making compromises, we all have to. Now let her go. It's over. You want the girl, John? Huh? You always were the romantic sort. You know, gentlemen, this man here, oh, he married a whore. Used to ride with us. We all had her. Oh, but he married her. And you know that makes him a better man than us. He's a better man. Have the girl, John. Easy, Dutch. She's a parting gift from me. Oh! Yeah, I was about to say, anyone not see that coming? Let's get after him. I don't see him. What the hell happened in there? This is your fault, Marston. What? You got a gun too, Sheriff. You waited too long. Next time I'll just shoot the girl. That's enough. Come on, let's find the bastard. Mount up, you went this way. Yeah, Abraham, yeah! Come on. Yeah, it's like, uh, like, like John said, how the hell is that my fault? Manager in an automobile. Let's just say, say car. Jake gone and got himself saved. He killed some poor woman. There's an old logging camp further down this road. It's been abandoned for years. My guess is that's where they're headed. Come on, follow me. 
Well, they're they're riding in like a V formation, and I'm just ruining it by riding in the middle. The man who made you who you are. I guess so. Has he changed? No, still the same crazy bastard he turned into. How was it seeing him after all this time? Did he tug on your heartstrings? He kind of reminds me of you. Violent piece of shit who went and confused himself with God. Isn't that sweet of you? And now you must kill him. Your side is chosen. My side ain't chosen. My side was given. I'd kill you a hundred times before I killed Dutch. If it was an option. Hallelujah! I think we're finally reaching an understanding, Mr. Marston. See, I think a big problem with this game was that it, it spent too much of its time it, during the Mexico section and not enough time in this part. We are neither, Mr. Marston. Uh, Escuela was kind of just like glanced over, and I, I feel like Dutch was kind of glanced over too. Um, I don't know. I mean, I, I, in no way am I saying this is a bad game, and this is a phenomenal game. But I, uh, but I think there, uh, that's you know some of the reasons why I would say it's not a ten out of ten. But I definitely give it a nine out of ten. There are also times that, I, that I'm sitting here thinking, man, this game is a lot, a lot clunkier than I remember it. Oh, shit. But then I also remember, this game came out, what, about eight some years ago? I mean, what? This game came out in, I, I remember it by in, what, 2010? Something like that? Let's utilize the cover this time. And let's not use a shotgun. You can't hide. I've got this Where's Dutch, Marston? He got away. Uh, scared to shoot him? Too much to handle? When the opportunity presents itself, I'll put a bullet in him, don't you worry. I won't like myself for doing it, but I'll do it. Ah, good man, good man. You know, at the end of this, you'll probably get a medal. I know I shall. They just kind of leave me up here in the wilderness. All right, guys. Well, uh, as as I've been hinting at through most of this video, I'm about to, I'm about to pass out. So uh, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get the editing for this done, and uh, then head off and take a take a little 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 nap. So uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Facebook, Twitter, the website, minds.com. Links to all that stuff is in the description below. Please remember to like, comment if you're not already. Please subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned for more next time. But until then, my name is AJ Gelson. This is the Umpire Gaming Channel. I'm out.